education and training today are under intense pressure to adapt to a context which is changing in ways that none of us has really anticipated. As more and more countries embark on ambitious reform, the question remains, how do we ensure that these reforms are really going in the right direction? And most importantly, how do we know that we have arrived at the destination? So the first question we would like to discuss is, how can we deliver reliable evidence, a reliable choice of indicators and data in order to judge about the success or failure of our reforms? An equally important question is the one about the process of monitoring. Can we design a process of monitoring which is inclusive, which considers the various perspectives of different stakeholders, especially of those who are supposed to benefit from the reform and of those who must implement these reforms? This is really an important question. And finally, even when we have designed this process and we know what kind of evidence we need, the next and most important question, perhaps, is the use of the monitoring results. What is the purpose of monitoring? How do we ensure that the outcomes are used not only for control, but also for improvement, for genuine adjustment in our plans for change, so that they can really lead to a result that benefits everyone involved in accordance with the initial intentions?